how to download, install, and use YubiKey Manager app on Windows. The YubiKey Manager is an end user tool which allows you to manage PIN codes, configure FIDO2, OTP, and PIV functionality, see your YubiKey firmware version, and more. To download the YubiKey Manager, first navigate to yubico.com. Once you're here, at the very top, look for where it says Support and click on the Support tab. On the left hand side, look for where it says Downloads. Click on Downloads. Scroll down until you see end user tools and look for the YubiKey Manager. Click Downloads. You are now on the YubiKey Manager page, which it states here is a cross-platform application for configuring any YubiKey over all USB interfaces. So you have the option to download it now. However, if you want to download it for your particular OS, scroll down until you see YubiKey Manager Downloads GUI or GUI. On the left, you've got Linux distributions. In the middle, you've got Mac OS. And on the right hand side, you've got Windows. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to be downloading YubiKey Manager for the Windows OS. I'm using Windows X64. There is also a download for x86. However, most likely you'll be downloading x64 like myself. So I'm going to click on Windows Download X64. The YubiKey Manager installer.exe file will then begin downloading. I'll be back with you once the download has completed. It should be rather fast as it's a relatively small file. Okay, I'm back. The YubiKey Manager download has now completed. Now I'm using the Google Chrome browser. So I'm going to navigate to the top right hand corner of my browser. I'm going to click on the downloads icon and then under recent download history I'm going to click on the yubikeymanager.exe file that we just downloaded. Once you've done that you'll be greeted with a user account control which asks you do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You can press no or yes. If you want to continue with the installation you'll need to click on yes. You'll then be greeted with the yubikey manager setup wizard. Click next. Choose a destination folder to install the yubikey manager in. I'm going to leave it as default. You can click on browse and select the destination folder if you don't like the default path. Click on next next once you've chosen a destination folder and then you'll be asked to choose a start menu folder. I'm going to keep it as default and click on install. YubiKey Manager will then begin installing. I'll be back with you once the installation has completed. Okay, so YubiKey Manager has been installed on my computer. As you can see by default, Run YubiKey Manager is currently checkmarked. I'm going to uncheckmark this and you should uncheckmark it too. I'll explain why in just a second. Click on finish. The YubiKey Manager program has to be run as an administrator. This will allow you to utilize the full capability of the YubiKey Key Manager. On your Windows computer, navigate to the search box on your taskbar and click on it. If you can see the YubiKey Manager application on the left hand side of your start menu, you can right click on it and then simply click Run as Administrator. Now if you don't see the YubiKey Manager here, what you can do is click on the search box at the very top and type YubiKey space Manager. At the very top you should see the YubiKey Manager app and on the right hand side you can simply click on Run as Administrator to run the YubiKey Manager app as admin. Now because you're running it as Windows Administrator, administrator, you'll be greeted with a user account control once again. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You can click on no if you don't want to, or yes if you want to open up the YubiKey Manager app. So I'm going to click on yes. And there we go, the YubiKey Manager app has opened. As you can see in the center, it says insert your YubiKey. So let me just do that now real quick. So I've just plugged it in. We should see it in just a moment. There we go, the YubiKey 5C NFC has been successfully detected by the YubiKey Manager app. Firmware 5.4.3, and this is my unique serial number. We're currently in the Home tab. You can confirm that by clicking on home. To the right of home, there's applications. Here you can configure the OTP application. Below that, you can configure FIDO application and configure the PIV application. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of all these three. So I'm going to click on OTP. Here you can configure short touch, which is slot one on your YubiKey. So when you simply touch the middle or the flashing Y letter on your YubiKey, you can configure it here by clicking on configure. So as you can see, it's currently configured to YubiKey OTP credential. You've got other parameters that you can set here if you want. I'm just just going to go back. You can also delete your configuration for slot one if you wanted to. And you've also got long touch here, which is slot two. This slot is currently empty, but you can configure it if you want. And again, you can delete it. Again, I'm going to click on applications and click on FIDO2. As you can see, currently we don't have a FIDO pin set. As with a fresh brand new YubiKey coming straight from the factory, you won't have a pin set. If you set a pin and forgot your pin, you can reset your FIDO2 and FIDO UTF application pins back to default, which would be no pin at all. And then again, if I click on application. The last one is PIV. Here you can manage many different pins such as pin, PUC or PUC management key and you can configure these pins by clicking on configure pins. So here's the configurations you can do. I'm just going to go back. You can configure certificates and reset your PIV to restore defaults if you want. And to the final tab on the top right here you can configure what is available
available over different interfaces. So I'm going to click on interfaces tab. Here's all your USB interface parameters. And on the right hand side is your NFC or near field communication parameters. As you can see, everything is currently checkmarked. For example, if I didn't want to use NFC at all on my YubiKey, I can click on disable all and then click save interfaces and then NFC will not work at all. I want NFC to be used. So I'm going to click on enable all. For the USB, again, you can disable all as well. As you can see, OTP remains checkmarked. And that is because at least one USB application is required. You can uncheck mark or disable a single parameter if you want. So for example, if I wanted to disable FIDO2, I can uncheck mark it here and then everything else is on. And I can just click on save interfaces if I wanted to disable FIDO2. I'm going to check mark that as I'm going to use it in an upcoming video. And I'm also going to set the FIDO2 pin as an example in this video demonstration. At the top right, again, you can see the type of YubiKey you have and the serial number. So I've got the 5C NFC, you've got help and you've got about the YubiKey manager. So let's set a FIDO2 pin as an example. So I'm going to click on applications and then I'm going to click on FIDO2. The current default is no pin at all. So I'm going to set a FIDO2 pin by clicking on set the new pin. I'm just going to type in my new pin in here and then again to confirm it. Once you've done that, just click on set pin. And now the FIDO2 pin was set and going forward, I can use this FIDO2 pin in future two-factor authentications, which I'll be demonstrating in upcoming videos on my Google account, for example. Once that video is made, I'll put it as a card at the top right hand corner of this video and in the video description below. That FIDO2 pin video example that I'll link will be used as a demonstration of how to use FIDO2 pins. Okay, so that concludes the video on how to download, install and use YubiKey Manager app on Windows. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?